Hello, Marco again. In this month's video, I will review the webcomic Velinia. And because I asked permission from the author of the comic, if I could review it, I don't have to place a disclaimer in the video. Which is a huge relief because I forgot it once in a video. Nothing bad happened, but still, always place disclaimer in your videos or other things if you use a franchise which you don't own. But back on topic. Now, this is the first time that I review something, so yeah, just so you know, let's go to the review. What is Felinia? Felinia is a webcomic made by DeviantArt user Rainy Blur. I'm not sure if that's the way I pronounce it, but what the heck, mispronouncing is a thing on the internet, so I don't care too much about mispronouncing things. It takes place in a post-apocalyptic era where humans wipe themselves out, Cats rule the earth, have built their own society, and call themselves Valinians. The comic started on 9th February 2014, or that is when the first comics came. The event art doesn't show the exact day you uploaded your art, only the year. And from this recording on, the comic just started its seventh season and is far from being finished. But you can easily catch up with it if you take 2 hours of your free time to read it, and it's well worth that time. Now the summary. But before I'm going to give the summary, I'm going to give a spoiler alert, because this summary may contain spoilers for the story. This story is about a fox felinian hybrid called Blaze. It tells the story of how his parents met, how Blaze was born, the happy part of his childhood, to the murder of his mother by the fangs of the Shadow Wolves, and other dark moments in his childhood. It also tells of his time surviving alone in the wilds, and to the moment he finally meets the optimistic Rainy, who got lost in the forest. He helps her back to civilization, and she offers him to meet her friends and get shown around the city. This is how far the comic has come as of this recording, but this comic is far from finished and there are many good things to come. Now my thoughts of the story. The story is very good. It has a good balance of comedy and tragedy, but can get dark sometimes, pretty dark, especially in chapter 4. It has some religious elements with a devil named Akuma and his shadow wolf minions but has also an angelic creature with the name of Sora. And although I'm an atheist, I don't mind religious elements in the story, because religion in the story is an extra ingredient to me that gives it some mystique. And now that the story goes into the city, it leaves some of its darker stuff behind and leads more to the humor side. Although I hope we haven't seen the last of the Shadow Wolves yet. Now I'm going to talk about the art style. This comic is a great example of how somebody can improve their art style over time. Just look at how the first and last pages have been made, and you can see the differences like the line art is a bit more cartoony, the lettering got a bit better, the artists began to use text balloons. But one thing that makes this comic's art style really funny are the facial expressions. These can be quite hilarious, and if this comic was mainstream, it would be a meme goldmine. Just look at these facial expressions. Another interesting thing in this comic is the noses. No Felinian has a nose. In the first few pages it was an on nothing with Blaze Mother, but after some pages it's only the non-Felinian predatory animals that have noses. But the lack of noses gives this comic a certain charm. Overall, Rainy Blue's art style over time has been improved and makes this comic an visual feast for the eyes. Now my final thought. This comic is a page turner. Thanks to its amazing story, great humor, tragedy, really dark moments, art style with its great facial expressions and noseless characters makes this a very good read. And thanks to this regular updating schedule, you have never have to wait too long for the next page. 
And Rainy, if you watch this, I have one thing to say to you. You are doing an amazing job and if you are ever planning to publish this comic in book form, I will be one of the first people to buy it. This was my first review. I hope you liked it and please like and subscribe and share this video with as much people as you can. And the link to this comic can be found in the description.